Awesome. Be good. I am excited. I'm actually pretty excited for this because we were, as a like analyst team, we were all actually pretty split on these power rankings of these two teams. That's very true. Um, if I recall, like we were pretty much down the middle of where everyone should have fallen. Mm -hmm. um, you and me pretty much had the same first two teams, obviously. Um, but after that, we pretty much split off completely. You, you, sir, you had Elyon all the way at number six. I did. <laughs> I did. Good reasoning, though, for it. And we'll see, you know, we'll keep an eye on it this game. But the reasoning for it was, is that the top laner for Elyon, mm -hmm. uh, Kleenex here, he's only bronze, too. And that worries me a little bit. Yep. That uh, is understandable, and it's like exactly scary. that's a similar reason as to why I put Elian as third because their jungler is plat. So True. we don't know. I'm curious to see how this is going to run out. I honestly haven't actually gotten to see these games yet between Elian and Virtual Death. I've only um, heard what other people have told me. I haven't actually gotten to see their scrims. So this is good to learn uh, from us and for each of these teams being the first game of the split. Yeah, and it'll be. I don't. We'll see what they do. If they, if spirits can kind of hang around up there and kind of nullify that level disadvantage that they're going to have up there every game, like maybe they can make it work. But that's you're really pigeonholing yourself into a, a certain strategy. And I feel like, you know, our teams are pretty smart here. We got some good team fighting teams that they may just be able to play around that, and they may like it may prove to be the downfall. Yeah, exactly. And this is kind of what I'm looking for in this first game is to figure out just how accurate our power rankings are um because like like i said we're all kind of up in the air with the middle of the pack teams um just simply because we did it based solely on numbers and ranks uh, and that's literally it a little bit on some scrims but for the most part it's all numbers so i'm really curious to see how this is going to turn out and who's going to have you know the better lane phase and then the better macro team play yeah, it'll be a, a good start to the tempo for this season. Especially yeah. these are our two, what we assume, middle-of-the-road teams. Um, teams that we assume are going to fall somewhere in the fourth, fifth place spots. Maybe even six. God, uh, you no chill. No chill there. Maybe even third. I'll give him that. Maybe even third <laughs> if we're lucky. You know, there are the extreme outliers there. Oh. But, they, you know... I think we all agreed that these were, you know, at least at the start of the season, our middle of the road team. So, seeing how these two play is going to be a good indication of how, you know, what we might be able to see from the rest of the teams. All right. So enough of the plot. Uh, let's start talking about these picking bands. What are you guys thinking now? We got some Alzahar, Vayne, Leona, Shen, Sona, Sivir. With the new patch and everything, all the new masteries and such, uh, it's still very up in the air. A lot of people are still figuring all of this stuff out. So. Uh, and as far as team comps, as far as solo picks, I'm really curious to see how this is going to work out. Um, it's my personal opinion that uh, the game is very snowbally, very snowbally uh, at the current state. And Leona, if she gets a, a nice hook uh, and she goes man mode, uh, it could be nuts. But then again, Vayne being a late game champ, I don't know. So yeah there's there's been some very scary leona videos out in this patch yeah. already it seems to be this is like seems to be the meta for the tank supports just going ham with the damage and the burst uh junglers just coming out with this extreme grace just extreme <laughs> amount of damage there it is <laughs> there it is burst it yeah burst yep. jungler like exactly that graves man i have played him quite a bit and he is i feel like he got a buff after this patch without getting actually a direct buff um, same thing with, like, Kane and stuff like that. Uh, they are so much pressure and so much power now. A Darius Snowball. Snowball, Snowball, Snowball. Snowball, Snowball. Did I he's mention Snowballs? At... <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's looking at Virtual Death, looking to really abuse that top lane. That's yeah. what that Darius picked. That Darius screams confidence. Like, I'm about ready to just crush this guy. And just mm -hmm. gonna throw it up there. Uh, Ram is kind of... You know, it really forced their hands with the Darius top, but they need that tank in there. But can interesting. Yeah, we'll see if Elian's able to counter that with their Graves jungler. They're like, hey, we're gonna put that carry jungler on our highest ranking member and give it a whirl, give it a go. So that's actually really funny that they picked Darius for their top lane. Um, with like a do. Oh my God, look at Duda Cha Cha. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. <laughs> I'm just gonna say Dudu. Uh, or Cha-Cha. 
either or. I might mix it up a little bit. But anyways, like him versus the Kleenex. I know you brought in Kleenex's rank to this. So putting, um, mm -hmm. you know, Choo Choo uh, against Kleenex uh, on this Darius, it's going to be pretty insane to see if there's a big difference in skill here. I don't think there should be a huge difference, but no, I do not expect too much. to see a high priority in the top lane. So, like a do... <laughs> it's only silver. That's where we're gonna go. You're, you're getting short in here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you don't like it, oh well. Kick some rocks or change your name. Sucks. So, does suck. <laughs> <laughs> sucks, don't it? But I uh, like it. Do here. Uh, he's only silver three, so there's not gonna be too much discrepancy. Um, you know, you would you kind of imagine that he may not be watching the mini map as uh, much as he should, and that might allow spirits to get in there with some easy ganks and really start to snowball that. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I just the, the confidence on that pick just screams to me like he is about ready to destroy Kleenex. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm actually really excited about this match because you know, you never know what you're gonna get from bronze to plat honestly honestly any you don't know anything about these ranks. These ranks could mean absolutely nothing. They could just be luck, they could be actual skill. Um, you know, I've seen bronze players that are better than gold players, honestly. So rank at this point doesn't really mean anything until I see what they can do in the game right now. True. True. Very true. So let's move out from that top lane. Let's kind of talk about this bot for a little bit. We have the, uh, a late game carry with a early game support <laughs> on a virtual death with a, you know, nice combination Sivir Sona over on Elliot. What do you make of that? Uh... Honestly, I'm not entirely positive. I've seen insane Sona supports. I've seen insane Leona supports. This patch, like I said, is completely up in the air with everything. Um, I still think the meta is being figured out, like I brought up. Um, but I did say that I think the early game is kind of a deciding factor uh, currently right now. That being said, um, Leona, if she gets a good hook, Spell Shield from Sivir, it really could go either way. I kind of want to give it to the Sona Sivir, just because they have so much poke. poke. They have so yeah. they're they're just they have sustain. They have poke, and that kind of just you know they don't have the early game damage on the side of Virtual Death to you know out damage the heal and sustain that uh, Elyon's going to have in the bot lane. Mm. I really think sure. all the action is going to be in the top side, the top side jungle, and in the mid lane with the Echo Robes. Mm, that's very fair. No, I, I had to disagree, though. I think the Leona's going to do it. <laughs> Solely because it's the Leona. I had oh, to boy. I had to disagree. The poke sort of got delayed. Now, Sona is going to be a little bit more powerful because everybody lost their magic resist uh, runes. And, you know, but support's got a lot of value back with their health and all their other passive changes. That, I don't know. I, I really see that the... I'm just seeing too much at Leona. Yeah. <laughs> that's I think fair. that's the only way to vote it. That Ignite, is like, they're just looking straight for kills. Like, they brought the Ignite. They're not worried one bit. No exhaust. It's the teleport in the mid lane, too. Like, they're just... The bottom lane is looking for kills. That is completely fair. Uh, I'm going to swap this over. Add this game capture. Oh, we want to do screen capture for League. It's going to take a second to load up. Because that's how League do. Um, that's how it do. Yeah, sorry about the sound on that, too. I hate how it just drops our, our music. What happened? It, it always drops the music in the champ select. Or at least for me, it does. It might, might be a bug, personally. When I'm spectating, as we get... Oh, we it drops get, like, the music? You know, yeah, 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 it drops yeah. the music. So, you know, I, I was okay with listening to that. All right, so a good little rune setup. There we go. Okay, so I just swapped it up, so it should be good. If there's any issue on the visuals, guys, let me know in chat, please. Uh, I realize I never actually properly introduced us. Um, my name is Kelvar. I will be your color caster slash analyst, and I am joined by Mr. Acid Coconut, Brent Kitchen. The play -by -play. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm play-by-play, -play, right? For duty. Now, let's take a look at these runes here real quick. Darius was that kleptomaniacy. Kleptomancy, excuse me. I should, you know. Kleptomancy. Klepto. Kleptomancy. Klepto. You know what? We'll get there. We'll get there. Klepto. <laughs> uh, Ram is a standard tank. Hmm. Okay. So, okay. Looking good. Is it loading I'm up? Not... Is it loading yeah. up? It like freezes every now, every time we do a spectator. It's frozen for me. We'll, we'll figure. Okay. Cool. Is it? 
Hello? There we go. Did it work? Are you good? Yes. Yeah, we're good. Okay, cool. Direct the camera. I'm at five over. seconds, six seconds. All right, got it. Just hitting 10. All right, perfect. Looks like we're good. All right, so tell me what the... Actually, I'll turn the volume down. That's actually definitely way too loud. I so, much. Okay. I'm excited because I saw the klepto there, and we're going to watch some Darius pop and some pots. <laughs> <laughs> the klepto. Here he comes. So, I'm curious how this is going to start out. Like, it looks like they're setting up the defensive lineup here. Um, the game starts earlier than it did before in the last patch, albeit by 10 seconds. It's not huge, but, I mean, it does start earlier, so it's much easier for the spectators. Um, but we're going to have to see this early pressure in these lanes. Who's going to have priority here and where the junglers are starting? Yeah, very true. Now, you know, honestly, I would have loved to see a lane swap here. If I was Elliot... A lane there... swap? What season do you think this is? This is we're going all the way back, boys. No, oh uh, my god. Just because they have, I don't know. We'll see how what the strength of their shin is and see how Spirits does. He's gonna be making his way back up there. Um, it'll be on the top side for his gank or for his first gank. I don't know. Like if he's weak, especially against some of the stronger teams, it might be interesting to see him mix it up a little bit with a little lane swap. I, I I don't in a world ever see a lane swap happening, unfortunately. Unfortunately, uh, we'll see. Yeah, I I we'll throw that idea out that there. That game was that was miserable for a long time, man. Don't you ever bring that up again, please. <laughs> throw it out there, see what happens. Oh my God, sure, it's out there, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and you know just put that little nugget in there, like Inception. Try to no. bring it back into people. No, 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 no. I do not like it. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's talk about a little bit of the game, rather. Uh, instead of just talking about the stupid lame swap that didn't happen. Oh, hey, my God. We'll see you next game. You just watch. You watch. That's All what right. I like to see. No, but already, top lane. Lots of trading going down. Lots of action. Um... I guess that'll start for a little bit until they get some items, and then it's really just going to be uh, one person kills, and then it'll go from there. Yeah. Actually, no, it's not even Klepto, dude. Uh-oh, we got to fight in the bot lane right oh, now. Oh, was I, was I wrong? It's yeah, racial ugly. You're oh. totally wrong. That's uh, you know such what? a good Darius Keystone. Yeah. Freaking new Keystone. Sorry, fire me. I'm fired. Brent, you're fired. I'm fired already. You know, new season... I get a little break. <laughs> it's essentially a phage. It's 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 pretty nuts with the slow. Anyways. Yeah, that's that's crazy. Anyways, we'll come back to that one later. Spirits is already on the top side looking for his gank. Wait, Tilly already went over the bush, and we may see our first little bit of action in the top. Okay. Oh. It's going man. down. Darius gets to the pool. Grace force the flash. Spirits the plat five already out. Summoner burn. Tilly dropped a little low. Kleenex not able to pick it up. Wow, and that's actually pretty big. The flash on the graves early uh, is pretty huge there. He had to use everything he could to get out of there at that point, and he didn't even trade summoner spells. Look at that. Pablo's hungry, though. He's not going to find it. He was in the top lane looking in the tri bush. That poke, I see, I'm see. i not seeing the Sona really doing enough here. Uh, not yet. I, I will color you color me impressed brent you are right in this mm. one right now at least for now <laughs> i get um, one one out of two first <laughs> thus so far you you're right hey you got the bot lane right you got the keystone wrong so I'll, I'll, all right it's even it's a fair split <laughs> yeah exactly but look at this top lane like uh, like we were saying a lot of uh pressure is going to be up here the junglers are going to be up there quite a bit um but the cs difference is actually pretty substantial right now you were worried it about is. alion's top laner uh, but I, think I know I'm fine. I may have to eat my words here. This um, Kleenex may be showing the silvers where it's at. He's already 10 CS up, and it's going to be more as that wave crashes in. Yeah, so that's actually really big. Darius didn't get that early game kill, and Shen is farming much better than Darius. Uh, so Darius needs to snowball to get anywhere in this, especially if Shen's going to be out farming him as bad as he is. But gank in the mid lane! Oh, oh. Tilly flashing over to find Pablo. He's just going to jump over the wall. He should be fine. He's still got his flash up. Yeah, he's going to wow. go ahead and get out. Half the back. Spirits is kind of looking, but he won't find anything there. That was actually really calm and cool by Pablo there. He actually eat over the wall instead of flash, so he saved that summoner spell, so he has that safety in the lane now. 
Uh, and that's actually a pretty difficult thing to do right there with Echo's jump. Yeah. I, I'm i just surprised. He didn't panic. That was just great play by him. And top lane, I think Chin's oh, gonna die here. Clean X, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Flash, Q, first blood. That was, you'd never go for extended trades with a Darius. Maybe that is exactly showing the bronze, um, I guess, thought process right there. Uh, a little bit of the bronze shining through his gold that he has been showing up in this top lane with his farming. Um, but that's pretty much what happens if you let Darius get his bleeds on you. And he didn't even, you know, he did blow Darius' summoner, but he died for it, unfortunately. So, he oh did. well. He blew, his, he blew his own summoner in exchange as well. So he didn't get any advantage there. Kind of play off later into the game. He really just needed to back and come back. He already had the CS advantage. Just come back with the teleport and eat that little bit of loss right there. Yeah, uh, a little bit of greed, but oh well, not too big of a deal, honestly. It's only one kill. What else can Darius do? One. So <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. It is going to mean Spear, so it's going to have to start putting a little bit more pressure up there in the top lane, because you do not want to see Darius just find the second or third kill there. Mm, exactly, and like we were saying up in the top lane, in the bot lane, it is completely full circle. Uh, Skylancer and Oni in the bot lane are pressuring uh, Virtual Death's bot laners right now, actually forcing them to almost back. Oh. They are so low right now. That could have been huge. Barrage just missing the root on your turret. Sona had the aggro. And that's a little missed opportunity for him there. Don't continually fight a Darius. It's a bad idea. <laughs> the healing. <sighs> He's gonna die oh, in this no! one too. Darius has his ultimate up. He's just waiting to use it. He dunks him. That's two kills for like a dude. Well, so far one of our predictions has come true. That's um, true. <laughs> <laughs> two kills, Darius. Is that's where you start to worry. Um, at this point, Shen needs to just farm AFK farm under his tower and make teleport. Not teleport plays, but ultimate plays. Uh, mm -hmm. he's, he can't do anything against the Darius, especially level 6 Darius that's killed him twice, solo. Um, he was doing really good early farming, but at this point, it's not the best. Um, no. He's gonna have to make more pressure across the map with his ultimate ability than Darius can do with a split push. Now what do you think here? Do you think Spirits need to spend some more time up there, or should he just trust Kleenex to play a little bit safer? try to snowball his bottom or his mid lane here. I think if Spirits goes up top lane, it's a double kill for Chacha, honestly. Um, Spirits needs to make something happen somewhere else, um, which is tough because bot lane is pushing in. Um, mid lane's pretty even, but Malzahar's pretty safe with his spell shield passive. So he's going to have to make some sort of difference elsewhere on the map because I feel like if he goes top lane, it's just too dangerous. Very true. He made a little bit of difference there, stealing the red buff. Off of this Ramus, it would be nice to see if he can make a gank with it. Get a little bit extra value out of it. We get a little bit of a positioning around here at the Dragon, but so far just some more, more clearing. Yeah, and again, we're looking to this bot side now with the Dragon available and up. It's about eight minutes into the game. Uh, they're starting to look for these extra objectives. Uh, Elian know that the top lane is pretty much gone. Uh, and it's way too risky to move anyone up there at this point. So they're going to have to make something happen on the bot side of the map. Whether it be a dragon, uh, bot lane kill, or something like that. Uh, they have to do something. Or this Darius is just going to run away with the game. Yes, he he's just going to start snowballing. He's, uh, you know, go ahead and clear out that mid scuttle. Maybe look for a gank on the echo. Won't find really anything there. Spirits is also there. But the rest of the lanes are just playing passive, and I like this out of Virtual Death. None of their other lanes are being very aggressive and just waiting, not giving Spirits an opportunity to to show his uh, skill in this game. Yeah, definitely not. Uh, here we go. We got the next gank in the mid lane. Yeah, yeah Spirits going to go ahead and force a flash out of the Malzahar. Ramus going to come in, going to try to find him. They're both level 5, though. Shin is 6, so he comes in off the teleport. It'll be... A numbered fight for Elian here as they find their first kill in the bottom lane. Sona goes down as the chase continues mid. They're going to escape under the safety of their turret as a virtual death lost one in the mid lane, but picked one up in bottom. What? How did that happen in the bot? I didn't even see what happened in the bot lane. Um, but either way, that kill onto um, Shen really doesn't mean too much. A Darius with two kills versus a Shen with one kill. I will always pick the Darius. Um, that was a good use of Kleenex's teleport, however, with the kill bot lane, it makes it even more difficult for Elian right now. 
The snowballing of Darius has started. Malzahar is keeping Echo pushed under tower. Surprisingly right now, he's pushing the tower. And now bot lane is now going in favor of virtual death. Elians are going to have to make some insane team plays and team calls here in order to come back into this game. I know it's not a lot of gold difference, but it's actually huge with this Darius. We did see Elian though pushing them out of that mid lane, even with the Darius there. They were able to force them back out under tower. Um, they pretty much had to cut and run once they found that first kill on the Ramus. I could see him potentially being able to find a couple of these early picks and then just snowballing that against the Darius. I, I could even see Elian taking this game back. I definitely could too. Uh, they, Like I said, these teams are very similar in their power rankings that we gave them or, um, before tonight. Um, see, we're doing, even a, we're doing a trade here. Top lane tower for the Earth Drake. Not a fantastic trade. But still, it's a trade nonetheless, so this is the kind I'll of take call. That. Actually, it's not even a trade. Darius can't get the tower. But I didn't get it. Tilly is moving to the top lane. Yeah, Tilly is up there. He's sniffing around. The red buff's already gone, so he won't be able to return that one. Spears is doing a good job controlling the buffs in both sides of the jungle. But it is going to allow Tilly and Laika do some free time up here on the shin. Okay, now this looks like a potential dive on the Kanex in the top lane, but engage in the bot lane! <laughs> gang bottom as the gang came in top, going much better for Elian down bottom as the stun comes out, roots down the low, Leona, but she flashes, still gets followed up on double flash to secure the kill. And well, Elian does take one for free. That was two summoners for one summoner. Uh, honestly, not the best trade you didn't have to have everyone flash a little bit of communication issues there however they picked up the kill uh they do have the pressure bot lane now uh but there was the first tower picked up by virtual death so that is still a 2k gold lead for them yeah, it almost looked like they were trying to gift the kill over to sky lancer and once when leona flashed out of that they're like oops wait a second I need to make sure we actually get this one yeah exactly but it doesn't look like they're going to be able to vein is actually doing her best to hold them off, and Leona will be there in one second. Yeah, they won't be able to get that turret, but I'll still take that trade, that dragon trade. Echo's gonna get ahead, get altered on mid, but he's gonna reverse back, looking for the kill. The Q's coming back, he's diving deep under the turret, the oh! shield, it's gonna be enough to get him out as the Malzahar goes down, and Pablo with a huge tower dive. That was really nice to see that some proactive play was coming from Elian, but Pablo's dead here. Um, He's in trouble. He might not be. They might not be able to find him. Oh, no. Oh, uh, no. Yeah, he's gone. Yeah. That's good. He's going to get executed, though, here. Yup, there he goes. Great job, Pablo. As Darius pops the Rift Herald mid, we missed him taking it, but he may not even get a tower with that. He's low on mana, and Spirits is here. We'll see yeah. what happens. Spirits should be able to do enough damage to the Rift Herald so it won't insta-give this tower. Um... Pop, yeah, I mean, unless he goes on to Darius, he won't be able to stop that tower. Yeah, Spirits but... has the ultimate, too. He's looking for the kill. It won't be enough. No. The tanky stats out of that phase. Going to go ahead and keep like a do alive. Tower doesn't fall to the Rift Herald. That's unfortunate. Uh, just a little bit of miscalculation on Spirits' damage. He only, unfortunately, has the Caulfields for any AD in his build. Uh, so he doesn't get the kill on to like a do, but he does save the tower. I get another fair trade. I'm liking the trades out of Elian here. Uh, they're not falling any farther behind, which is definitely good. Uh, they are making plays. Pablo making that play in the mid lane. He got the kill. Uh, so they are making plays. They're doing what they can around the map. They're not just sitting idly by as they snowball them. Or face roll them, rather. I like face roll as a better adjective. Or verb, rather. <laughs> um, <laughs> so it's kind of concerning, though. Uh, Malzahar and Echo are two very wave cleary champions, um, but there's been no roams. But there has well, been a game. Here's, here's one gang come down, gonna get ahead and stun Sona right into the wall. Gonna oh! be able to find the kill. No, he auto attacks a turret, has to flash for it. Gonna go deep. He's by himself back there, but there's no other members from Elian Gaming gonna be able to come down and help find that kill. And this is actually really well done by Virtual Death. Malzahar is pushing Echo as hard as he can, so that tower is going to be under threat if he gets to that tower and Echo roams. So there's no one that can actually support Skylancer since Spirits is top. Yeah, great call by Tilly there, finding the open avenue. 
And Spirits really needs to start doing a little bit more work if he wants to set his team up for success into the mid game here. As Kleenex decides to teleport down bottom to save the tower. Wow. So he instead he uses his teleport to get down there instead of using his ultimate, which is a lower cooldown. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure about that one, but no big deal. No harm, no foul yet. Uh, they do look to get this bot tower, though, or at least a lot of damage onto it. Yeah, and somebody's going to have to go back up top as there's a big wave balled up on the virtual death minions. Um, Elian didn't even push for that outer turret in the bottom, even though they had the window, so I'm a little bit surprised out of the call there. Yeah, um... They didn't unfor they unfortunately didn't have vision of anyone on virtual death, so they did back off just to play a little bit safe. Um, but so far, the vision control has been very, very highly in virtual death's favor. True. They've had wards scattered all across the map, and they've done a very good job cleaning clearing out the pinks of Elian here. Just all sorts of stuff. Their jungle was littered for a little bit as spirits found some counter jungling but so far for the last couple of minutes he really hasn't had an impact or any sort of presence Oof. inside Tilly's jungle oh we'll get back to the jungle his mid lane spirit's gonna get ahead and get engaged on he quickly a fight going huge in death's favor as everybody just starts to fall double kill for the vein echo does manage to find the malzahar find one but that's gonna be four members down at four for one for virtual death yeah, I just I don't see the reason for at least fighting there or even kind of positioning in an aggressive manner. Malzahar, all he has to do is hit R. And right now, no one in the game can deal with a Malzahar ultimate, especially with the entire team back in a mock. So that's two towers and a near ace for virtual yeah. death right there. And it looks like they're going to get the next Drake as well. I don't know why, why Elian was out there. There was no real no reason to be pushing that mid lane there. Uh, their ways are pushing against them. Dragon's coming up right now. So now they have to run back and contest it real quick. Um, really kind of just a mis miscue there in the macro game. Oh, uh, there we go. Darius forced to flash out after the Sona ultimate. So now that's going to be down for the fight, but low health on virtual death means they need a run. Vayne finds a turret bottom as the chase continues mid lane. Bit of a uh, ring around the rosy here. Three towers for nothing. Uh, on the side of Virtual Death. They just got a huge influx of gold. And while, yes, Team Elian Gaming might get this dragon, and I say might, it's still not worth the amount of gold that Virtual Death just got. No, the Mountain Dragons... Oh, there it is! Well, <laughs> Malzahar st steals it away. I believe he pronounced his name Joker Face. So that's what we're going to go with until we have any uh, official word on that. But wow, what... A steal. Well, honestly, a lot of that was a lot of misplaying from Elian, unfortunately. Uh, when they were chasing out Virtual Death out of their jungle, they stuttered and decided on where they wanted to go. They couldn't figure it out. They kept deciding and going back and forth. So that bot er, wasted some of their time. And then the mouse, the hard steal on the dragon, they that's got to feel wow. bad. There's literally nothing they got from that trade. It wasn't even a trade. It was just a loss. A no, straight loss. No, just, yeah. thanks for the leash. Okay, I'm going back, get some more items that I can then run it down your your mid lane with and yeah, take no some kidding. Wow, um, I was going to say also, though, there's not much use a Mountain Drake does if you're not hitting any turrets. Yeah, exactly. So that's another thing as well. Right now, Elian are completely on the back foot. The gold difference is actually... Pretty substantial right now in the top lane. It's a, nearly a nearing a 2,000 gold lead for the Darius alone. Let alone what's happening in the bot lane with a more than a 2,000 gold lead for this vein, which is a scary thing to see. <laughs> oh, very scary. Your your two late game threats are just going crazy right now. They have the kills exactly what you want for your team. Everybody else has assists there. The jungle is just controlled. There is nothing Spirits can do right now. And he's trying, though, but there's just nothing. Kleenex, Kleenex no! Is Kleenex is getting caught. Actually, they find one on Jokerface. He falls quick, tries to ult, does get the stun out of the Echo. The fight is going crazy in the jungle here. Virtual Death is on the run as Elian still has all four. Wow. Echo finds the kill on the Barrage. That'll be that fight. Two kills picked up.
That was incredibly well done by Elian. Honestly, the bait from Kleenex, I didn't even see it coming until I saw the entire team of Elian backing him up. Uh, that ultimate from Echo completely turned that fight. They wasted ultimates, they wasted everything on Echo. He ulted, regained all of that health, and then boom, Virtual Death had to run out of the entire jungle while Elian cleaned them up and got two kills and a tower. Yeah, biggest thing about that, Skylancer wasn't even in that fight. He was still middling, clearing out minions. That was a straight four, four on five that Elian just pulled out, just pulled out of nowhere. Yeah, that was act. That was exactly what Elian needed to get a little bit of gold back in their pockets, so their solo laners can deal with a split push. Uh, at this point, right now the mid game has started, so these rotations, these wards, these pink wards, uh, vision coverage is going to be huge uh, oh. for things like that. Well, they had the vision. Uh, Virtual Death had the vision, but Elian still managed to find the fights. Now Virtual Death has all of the vision around Baron. Elian has no idea this is going down. This is going to be an uncontested Baron for free 20 minutes into the game. That was actually that was a very nice call by Virtual Death. They saw most of the members of Elian back, and they saw it was completely safe to take that Baron, and they take that opportunity that was handed to them. Smart macro play. We do have to give that to Virtual Death. They are still playing the map, even when they take a small loss, like that team fight there. They're still thinking, what's our next move? What is our next play that we can win? Whoa. Right now, it's killing Kleenex here as he just gets stunned up into the wall. Jokerface still has his ultimate, didn't even need to use it. Leona's going to go ahead and burst her ultimate down. They're starting the fight on three members, going to go ahead and get to half health. But that doesn't matter because Pablo got absolutely Ooh. demolished. A four-man stun keeps him alive as Ani going to go ahead and get sacrifice his life for that. Darius goes a little bit too deep. So does the Rambus. This could be two kills back for Ellie, and they're trying to chase. So far, just a two for one, but it's still going as Pablo dies. Wow. Death. And Skylancer, I just, I'm surprised on that. Manages to find a double. That is a huge turning point. Not only did they get three kills for one on the side of Elian, there were also spam question mark pings on the side of Virtual <laughs> Death. That means I, tilting has started. Yeah, I'm getting tilted here. Like, I'm watching this, and I'm like, all right, easy fight. You just found two kills. You got a turret. You got an inhibitor, especially with your Baron buff. And then it's like, I'm scratching my head. I'm like, wait a second. Why are they still going? Yeah, there was no reason to go past that. They got two free kills and could have taken a tower up in the top lane, but instead they got greedy, tried to dive or go a little bit farther than they needed to, and Sona hits him with a four-man ultimate, which was beautiful, bought the time for the rest of Team Elian Gaming to get there, and then they actually just cleaned up the fight from that point. This does worry me about the Virtual Death's ability to close out this game. I'm not sure they've got it. I... I never count out a team with a Darius and a Vayne, but it looks like chat saying Virtual Death always finds a way to throw. It looks to be the case thus far, but it's only happened two things. Only two things have happened thus far that Elian has shown that they have better team play. But we'll have to see as the game goes on. We're still only 23 minutes into this game. 23 minutes into the game, positioning around the next dragon to come up in 15 seconds. That will be where the action will be we have joker face up in the top with his teleport gonna be able to go ahead and join the fight oh. two man's done down there on the ramp as cleanness comes in with the ultimate down goes sarah and down goes tilly so elliot absolutely cleaning out virtual death darius is just too late he does manage to find spirits gonna try to find the kills but right now he's getting kited he is he gonna find know. the double kill with the dunk but skylancer picks up another Double kill, and that is four down on Virtual Death side to two on Alien Gaming. Honestly, this this is not what Virtual Death should have been doing. They had Baron. Why were they fighting a down, man down in the enemy jungle? They have a Baron buff. Yeah, it's another Drake, and that could be good for them to get it, but honestly, they have Baron. Give up that free Drake and get an inhibitor with that Baron buff. Honestly, it's not a huge deal. Uh, Darius, though, coming in with the cleanup, getting the double kill, could have been prevented if Echo had just hit his ultimate earlier. Oh, wow. so many misplays, another... <laughs> so little time to talk about it. <laughs> it's another head scratcher, though, is then why would you pressure that fight up the ramp into that tight little corridor against a Sona stun? 
and it gets the AOE out of the Graves and the Echo and the Sivir. I just it's a head scratcher. Yeah, uh, they they didn't have any forward vision. They just kept chasing the enemy jungle. So honestly, that's pretty rough for them. Uh, it's 13-13. They still do have a gold lead, and they still uh, Baron is just about expired at this point. So the game can still go either way. I'm still saying this lives or dies by Darius, like it always does in at least lower ELO tournaments. <laughs> yep. We'll see if he's able to carry this. Again, though, we did talk about that. If Elian manages to pick one or two guys before that, Darius really gets in the fight. Doesn't matter how strong he is. He's just going to fall. He's going to get kited. Now, he did manage to pick up a double kill there. He did find two with a little bit of a saving grace, but it's just not going to be enough if they keep continuing that way. Yeah, exactly. It, it's just That's the third mistake in a row from Virtual Death. But another engage. Yeah, the fight continues here as Pablo gets jumped on, barely gets out with a sliver of health. Elian's on the run. Leona's flashing for the stones to suppression. There goes Skylancer. He's gone. Leona's still just hungry, super low. Echo forced to rewind out in the middle of nowhere. He just got damage taken away on him. Spirits is going to get taunted and then just immediately blown up. That was actually very well nice for virtual death. I'm not entirely sure why that happened. Um, but still, they're going to get a mid tower here and definitely going to get an inhib while Darius is getting bot lane tower. I'm looking at two inhibs here. I see Virtual Death easily being able to rotate down bottom and helping this Darius out for another inhibitor. Yeah, Kinex, have... while meanwhile, his top side still hasn't even gotten that tower. It just goes down now. But it one tower for three tower or two towers and two inhibs, potentially? Four on five. Spirits four seconds away to come up. The talk comes in a huge three-man talk. Gonna go ahead and spell the in a joker face there in this fight at least. Vayne is still working on this inhibitor as Tilly go ahead and takes the back line, but she's gonna fall for it. So does Barrage. It's just a matter of time where the rest of their teammates go down. Double kill for Spirits and an ace for Elian Gaming. That's an ace, but two inhibitors down. Team Elian Gaming is going to have to make something happen at this point. The kills mean nothing if they can't get anything off of it, and having two inhibs down makes it very difficult to get anything back, especially with all major objectives down and no lanes pushed out. What about this Baron buff in 35 seconds? They're going to have a small seconds, window. The entire enemy team's up in about 15 seconds, so they just have to run straight to Baron to make sure that the alien can't get it. I think that's their only option here with two inhibitors down. If they don't take it right now, they're just gonna they're going to lose it. Uh, they, they, so we'll see. I think it's too risky, bro, but we'll see what Elian decides to do. Uh, so far, they're going to have, go ahead and take this mid turret. All of Virtual Death is up. The Baron rush is not going to be an option now. Uh, it might not have been an option anyways, even if they were in position. But they're going to go ahead and take a turret for that. So they lost three turrets, four turrets, and two inhibitors to come up with an ace and a mid lane turret. Well, I mean, at least they got something back after that ace. That's kind of the big thing with the lower elos, is not understanding how to get something back after they make a play, after they get an advantage on the map. And while, yeah, the map pressure is back in favor of Elian for a moment, those super minions are going to push right back into their base. So Virtual Death are going to have free reign of the rest of this map. Can Elian hold off a Baron buff five-man push in the top lane with two inhibitors getting crashing into their base? I am not sure why. I don't think it's going to matter as Oni's going to go ahead and try to by himself. Going to go game. ahead and get picked. And then Spirits gets ulted down. Everybody is just dying for Elian right now. There goes Spirits. There went Pablo. Skylancer is next. His Vayne's going to chase him down. It's just a matter of time. The ult is just barely keeping him out of range. Will he get there? Yes, he will. One, two, oh! three. Does it? Now Kleenex is the last one alive, ironically. He's just going to go ahead and get stunned up in the turret. He's going to die. Double kill for Era, and that'll be game. Unfortunately, Kleenex is not sticking to his name of cleaning up everybody's act, and Team Virtual Death looks to take this game in stopping fashion. Wow. What 